Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. In this video, we will explain how to create a, a Promovera schedule using our Excel tool and uh, Promovera SDK. First of all, we need to install the SDK. So we'll go to Setup like we are installing Promovera and we change the settings and we will choose the soft development kit and click next and change you have to install first the Promovera then this is the second step to install the SDK now we are going to make the data configuration uh, my database is Oracle. I'll click next. The string is XE. And the username Prev user. And the password is the same. If you don't know how to install the Promovera, please see the video. Uh, I explain step by step how to install the Promovera. So we have here the successful connection. And this is finished. Now we install the SDK. The SDK is an Excel file. In which you can import and export data between Promovera and Excel. So after I install it, I, use, I have to put here my username and password. And from here, I can do some uh, exchange of information between the Excel and the Promover. Now, the tool I want to explain, if you want to make Excel a relationship, a relationship of the time schedule in the Excel, then you import it uh, to the Promovera by one step to create a complete schedule. So I have created this simple Excel sheet. This Excel sheet, you will have all the data you need to import to the SDK and create a complete time schedule from scratch. So I'm going to open my Promovera first. I have here a test project this is completely blank and I want to update it uh, with activities uh, along with their duration and relationship so my project name is test project so this is my project name I'll copy it I'll put it here then the project ID this one I will put it here and once again here and I'll forget about everything now let's do some relationship and activities so I made here the activity ID to be created automatically just by serial number and building type. So I'll drag this one and I will make some serial number. And this is a activity ID here we come to the WPS I'll create some WPS here so I'm going to make let's say this engineering and this one is 
construction and this is testing as you can see here there is a code so the code of the, of the engineering is test project 2.1 the cost uh, the the code of the construction is test project 2.2 so if i want the activity to be under the construction wps i have to put the wps code here as you can see here test the wps i'll make it test to project 2 Point one. I'll make some of them under this WPS and another and another WPS. The beauty of the Excel it is the copy and paste and drag making our life easy. Let's say the description one and I will drag it up to here. This actually is the activity name, so you can put any activity name you want. The duration will make it all 10. Now we come to the predecessor. Let's say that the predecessor of this activity is the previous activity, which is two. So I just click to and here all the highlighted red column it is calculated so you don't have to type anything you are you can change the relationship here just finish to start you can put lag here let's say 10 and you can choose up to three predecessors so I'm going to continue like this if I have all finished to start up to this stage for example and it is all finished to start and maybe from here I will change it to start to start with leg 5 I'm just giving you the concept if I have this activity with two predecessor relationship here I have to make it uh, let's make it by sequence like this and let's say we have here another relationship and the relationship type is start to start <coughs> the leg is 10 and from here I will make it finish to finish you just choose the proper relationship you want I'll choose here finish to finish with let's say 7 days leg and I can drag all this down and let's say you have here some relationship with 20 which is finish to finish with five days and we have third relationship here 19 finish to start was lag 10 we have here 25 this is the activity id this is the relationship type and this is the lag let's say we have the same here 24 start to start was 5 lag okay after I finish my activities, 
I have to go to this part. This is the name of the project. This is the duration type. This is fixed duration. This is percentage complete and the complete type and the calendar. All you need to know here if you want to change the calendar name, you can change it from here. What I'm going to do now, I just be sure that I have at least two rows filled. So when I drag it down, it will not cause any problem. reach it here so I need to drag it once more like this okay after I filling my relationship all you need to know to do now is to click create files and this is where the magic comes the Excel sheet will create to you two files the first one is the activity list and the second one is activity relationship so let's go and see the first one this is the activity list which you need to copy and go to you the SDK file check this is days and check you have already selected the proper project from here and go to activity details tab right click and paste value then click set activity details You have to check if there is any errors here the only error here that row 34 is empty which is logic now we'll go to the primavera and we'll see the activities we'll click f5 so here is the activities already populated with the wps as we chosen it and with the duration, activity ID, description, and everything. Now let's do the relationship part. And this is my favorite part actually. This is the relationship part. So I'm going to copy this one. And I'll go to the SDK file. I will go to activity relationships and from here I will paste as a value then from login I will click set activity relationships and I will check the error that only the value is missing in the row 38 and I'll click F5 once again and you can see here the relationships has been have been populated all what you need to do now is to run your program and here it is all your relationships and your schedule is ready this tool i believe it is very good in productivity to reduce the time required for uh, creating time schedule especially if you have repetitive items and you need to copy and paste them in their proper WPS uh, I wish you uh, will find this tool useful for your work and uh, if you have any comment or any question please let me know and thank you very much for watching